Tips. So today I'd like to share with you my review on Yaz or Yasmin, the birth control peels. I used these peels earlier, or like earlier this year, yeah, to cure my acne, my hormonal acne, and I would like to share my experience with you. So a little bit background is I took these pills for about five to six months, and I stopped taking it. Um, so I would like to sp like split up my reviews to the first two to three months that I started these pills, and then how it was like for me after you know the pills got stabilized, and also how it's like for me after I stopped the pills. So like if you're interested to only one phase, please go ahead and look at the timeline down below and skip to where you know you need to see. Okay. For those of you who don't know. Yes, wait. Yes and Yasmin, they are really similar birth control pills. So both of them contains three milligram of dr drospirinone and 0.02 or 0.03 milligram of ethyl estradiol. I think it's ethyl estradiol. Basically, like these are two hormones that we have progestin and I believe it's estrogen. It causes our egg to be not fully developed so that sperm is not able to uh, to like you know to, to make babies out of our eggs. So this is what the pills were created for but because of the amount of hormones that it provides, it is also being used to treat like hormonal acne and apparently, if I'm not mistaken, these are the only pills or the first pills to be authorized by the American Drug Organization to treat PMS. During the first two months that I started these pills, um, I was fully aware that it takes time for hormonal pills to actually you know, be really effective. So I gave myself two to three months to like wait for the effects of these pills. Um, when I first started, it was okay. My first one, I got a really bad mood swing. Um, I think during like the third week period, um, like I just bawled my eyes crying randomly, like when I was alone. I mean, I think I cried once when I was at work too. I was like hiding in a toilet crying because I just couldn't handle my emotions. And those of you with like really bad mood swings, like especially hormonal mood swings or like PMS mood swings, like you would know how messed up it is, like you would just ball your eyes over the smallest thing, right? Right? Okay, so please don't judge me. So like I had one of the worst hormonal breakdowns when I first started this pill. I also noticed in my first month that um, I started getting like a, those really small bumps those really tiny ones that you can't squeeze like around my nose area and I think like around my mouth area so that was the area that hit me I'm the kind of person with the worst PMS um, I get super bloated I get migraine I couldn't sleep um, I get mood swings I get acne like I hate my life and there are days that my cramps during my periods are so bad too okay and one thing that happened to me, although in the first two months that I was kind of, I had mood swings and the acne didn't go away, was that my period was surprisingly easier. I didn't have that much bloatness. I stopped having the migraines that I had, and I also did not have the cram, which is like super magical for me during my period. So that was when I felt like you know these pills are doing something. So I'm just gonna give it more time to try it out. So like after two to three months, my I stopped getting like those tiny weird acne on my face. That means that you know my acne has always been hormonal and this hormone tablets were able to help me. So like I just continued to take that. I set it on a timer. It became a routine. I got used to it. I just take it every day and I stopped having hormonal acne and I also have like easier periods. So it's so good. But like after like the fifth or sixth months, I quit my job. <laughs> and this is really like a lame reason to do this, but I actually stopped. Oh my god, I just kicked my camera. So like I actually stopped taking these pills because I quit my job and I didn't want to spend money on getting 
medication. I mean, I wasn't sexually active or like using this for birth control, so I thought. So I thought like, you know, it's okay to just stop it for the moment. After I stopped the pills, my acne did not come back. It came back, but not in the worst situation. So like right now, I think I have one acne here and one acne here. It's annoying, yes, but it's not the worst. Like I didn't have like a full on breakout after I stopped the pills. And also, I had the worst cramps. Like it was worse than before. So that really sucks. Like that part really sucks. Cause the few months that I was taking these pills, like I didn't have the cramps. So like when it came back, it just felt like hell. But it's not the world. And you know, like I didn't have the worst mood swings after that. So that was good. Um, and that's basically it I think that was my experience <laughs> it's kind of short I thought I thought this video is gonna be way longer I would say my tip is to get these pills you need to be really patient give it like around three months I would say to see if it really works for you I pray I pray that for you if it doesn't work it doesn't cause your syndromes to be worse too because um, for me, it actually worked out after three months. The first, I would definitely continue to take this pill if I'm looking for a birth control, and also after I get a job. Because like I'm just too poor to not afford birth control. <laughs> that is so sad. But like I'm serious though. Like um, I stopped this because I'm broke and I don't want to waste money on pills since I'm not really sexually active anyway. But if you're looking for like an acne treatment and you are having sex regularly, then I do recommend you to use this pills. I'm not paid by this, I'm just sharing with you my experience. And I hope it helps you. Okay, so this is my review for Yes and Yasmin birth control pills for acne and PMS treatment. I wish you the best and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye, sister. Bye 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 bye. I'm the kind of person with like the worst, with the worst PMS syndrome. So like, PMS syndrome. It shouldn't be just PMS. Premenstrual syndrome. It's either pre, premenstrual syndrome or PMS. Okay, I'm the kind of person with the worst PMS. Um, I get super bloated. I get migraine. I couldn't sleep.